Hello, I am now stood, still in the Peak District, but I am stood at Buxton Station, which is the terminus of the Buxton line from Manchester Piccadilly to Buxton. So as always, we're gonna have a little look around Buxton, see what it's got. Already this place screams history, and I hope you enjoy it. So welcome again to Down The Line. After a breathtaking journey, I have finally reached the end of the line at Buxton Railway Station, and this place truly encapsulates railway history. The station you see today opened in 1863 by the Stockport, Disley and Whaley Bridge Railway, but this wasn't the only railway to exist here. Almost simultaneously, the Midland Railway Company opened their station after they extended their line from Rowsley. Nowadays, the station is managed and served by Northern Rail, with the other terminus for the Buxton line being managed to Piccadilly, which you can catch at two trains per hour. So, you know, I know I'm a massive fan of the Hope Valley line in terms of, you know, scenery and things like that, but this line, ooh, it's up there. It really, really is. And, you know, these are the type of journeys where, you know, you need to look out the window. I said that previously. It's, you know, a lot is missed by commuters. I mean, obviously there are some that are just on their journey just really don't care. <laughs> but for people like me and for you who do care, <laughs> Um, the wind, looking out the window, you spot some extraordinary things, views, rolling stock, old railway stuff. It, it's just brilliant, it really is. And um, you'll soon see why I said Buxton screams history. As I previously mentioned, my journey from New Mills Newtown to Buxton has been nothing short of perfect. And being able to change over from the Hope Valley line has been a very worthwhile day out. Although, I have managed to save enough time in the day to visit another station on my way back to New Mills Newtown. The question is, can you guess what that station is? Leave one in the comments below. So the building just behind me is the only remaining part of the original London and North Western station. And like I say, it goes well with you know, the, actual, the old lines and the actual bay platforms just up there. This all would have been so, so different to how you see it today. And just as you leave, you know, the current station and look round towards your left, there's a viaduct going across the main town centre of Buxton. And it's brilliant, you know, in the heart of the Peak District. And would you think that there'd be this much railway history? Probably not. But that's why you do your research and you look into these things because there is so much more than meets the eye. Well done, Buxton. <laughs> The old Midland station sadly closed in 1967, along with closures of the lines to places like Ashbourne and Matlock, which currently is a big walkway and is very popular with walkers nowadays, although there has been some traction to get it back. The main appeal for railway enthusiasts here, however, is simply its railway history, and just by looking around the current station, you can easily make out the remnants of the old Midland station. But if you enter the main ticket office, there is a very detailed model display of the old Midland station. But when you walk out and around the station, there are reminders of the past, such as this water crane, viaduct, and you can still walk up to get a great look of one of Buxton's disused railways. Although to be accurate, it is now partly used for freight, so I strongly recommend you come and visit Buxton. Okay, and that is Buxton finished. I have to say, there is more than meets the eye to this place. And after speaking to a couple of locals, um, finding out about sort of what they used to see around here, you know, they said it hasn't really changed much in terms of, you know, the buildings and stuff here. Um, and also that, you know, in terms of having, you know, the modern day side of things come into play, it's going to be very hard for places like Buxton um, because the local opposition don't want them here. The railway history here is brilliant. Um, but no, that is fantastic to see. But I hope you found this interesting. Um, it was for me. And I'll see you next time down the line. <laughs>